Hey, what is going on? My name is Norbert and welcome to the complete JavaScript array method series. In this video, we're going to learn about the includes method. As always, the code is down in the description below. So if you wish to just follow along, then just grab onto the code, copy it, and just follow along with what I'm doing. If you wish to code along, then please feel free to do so. Now, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new content like this on a regular basis. Also, if you like my video, hit that thumbs up button and help out that YouTube algorithm and help the channel grow. And as always, if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, please consider them leaving them down in the comment section below. So with this being said, let's get into the video. The includes method determines whether an array contains a specified element. Now this method returns true if the array contains that element and false if it does not contain that element. Okay, so let's quickly console log here a includes. So for example, if you have an array of names, let's say Arabella, then Karina, then Norbert and Laura. Now I'm just going to create a function. You're going to call check names check name and it's also going to take in an argument of name now all this function will do is return from our array of names that includes the name that we're going to pass into this function so let's just start off by console logging check names we're going to grab onto the function pass it into the console log and let's see does the array of names contain the name of Arabella and is going to return true because this array contains name Arabella. Now I can do the same thing for Karina and also for Laura and Norbert, but please note that this method is case sensitive. So if I would call upon Norbert without a capital N, then it's going to return false. Also, if I would call upon something that is not within the array, as you can see, it would also return false. So Laura is included, but Tony is not included in the array. So it's going to return false, as you can see in the console. Now, things become a bit more complex when you need to select from the array of objects, but don't worry, this, where, this is where the map function or the map method comes into, into play. And if you want to watch my JavaScript map video, it's down in the description below. This is part of a complete series. Okay, so now let's go down here and let's create a const of users. I'm going to assign this to an array and actually I'm just going to copy in this array of users, I'm going to take multiple objects. So first user has a name of Arabella, age 20, second user, third user, and so far and so on. <clears throat> Now let's create a const, which is going to be another array. And this array, let's call it user names, but this array will be populated with the name, with all of the names from this initial user arrays. Now we can do this by using the map method because the map method returns a, another array. So if I type here dot map, and we're going to call from the user, we're going to use here error function, we're going to return the user dot names hit save and if i would console log now user names then i'm going to get all of the names from our first array so now that we have this array we could do something like let's create a function and this function we're going to be check user names so user user names and we're going to pass in here argument of user name and now we're going to create an ad a condition so if the user name that's going to be passed in here actually the, the array this array right here the user names dot includes the user name that we're going to pass into the function then we're going to just console log to use this time temporary literals the user name 
and now we're going to use interpolation of user name. So whatever user name is going to be passed in here was found. And why am I outside of backtick? So cut this out, put this back in here. So if the user names, this array right here, includes the username, which we're going to pass in here, then we're going to get this console log, which is just going to grab onto this name and pass it into this console log. Now else, let's console log, I guess we're just going to copy this entire thing right here. So if it's not included, then we're going to say this username that we just passed in here can not be found. Okay, so let's test this. If I would now console log check, so this function right here, I'm going to pass in a argument of Arabella. Then we're going to get the username Arabella was found because the username Arabella is included in this array, which gets the usernames from the user array. Okay, if I would, and remember this is case sensitive, if I would just pass in here Arabella with a with a lowercase a, then it's going to return Arabella cannot be found. So we got to watch out for this case. Uh, we got to watch out for this because it's case sensitive. Also, if I would check now for Tony, I would still get Tony cannot be found. Okay, but if I check for Laura, then Laura should be found. There we go. Okay, so hope you understand now how include works. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.